Depending on the time of day, you may see buds at a number of places on campus doing a number of jobs. When I come to school, I do traffic in the morning, I do traffic in the evening after school. Uh, in between the day, I do books. Uh, I'm in charge of uh, giving the books out, getting them back. Um, also ensure that every child or every student has a book. Um, also in charge of uh, the mail, delivering mail and printing. Uh, setting up events, different events to, to, throughout the school. But a lesser known fact is that as well as being a military veteran, Buds is an avid artist who works on art pieces of many styles, including short stories and participates in art shows in his free time. When I do art, I usually draw. I do a lot of drawing, as a matter of fact. Different subject matters. Um, uh, I like to paint when I have the opportunity to paint. Um, I also like my, do yard work, garden work. I have a pretty nice little garden. I've built things like stone bridges and I've built uh, a wishing well. First experience, uh, true experience with art was when I was in high school. You know, I did a watercolor of a football stadium for a little art contest in high school and um, happened to win one of the prizes and my picture hung in Marshall Field's window downtown Chicago. After I returned from the service, I used a GI Bill to go to college. While, while I was in college, I majored in art, and um, one of my teachers, his name was Arthur Lerner. He was pretty well an artist, well known around the world. And um, through, his, through his tutorage, um, I learned a lot of things about art. Long to my, in my experience at the school, I was also asked to submit a portfolio at the Pellet and Chisel Academy of Fine Arts downtown Chicago, which I did, and I got accepted to the Pellet and Chisel, and so I studied a little bit there um, before I graduated. Buds works on art in his free time and often brings it in for his co-workers to see. I didn't know he was so talented with his, with his artwork. He comes in um, time to time to show his uh, artwork and I was pleasantly surprised at how well he he was with his art. He, I believe he goes, every week he goes in and he really loves it and enjoys it. I mean his face just lights up every time he's talking about it. Um, he does anything from live, like he'll have a still person to do as well as any objects, fruit, anything like that and he'll bring it in and he'll show us. He's, he's very talented. His art style has influenced other avid artists around him. Well, Mr. Bud's art um, has taught me a lot. He really likes to study and um, try to improve himself um, with different drawing techniques. So I've learned from him and his different techniques that he uses. Bud's doesn't just make art for fun. A lot of his pieces have been featured in art shows around the country. Some of my first experiences in art shows were at the Pellet and Chisel. I was able to show some of my work at the Pellet and Chisel downtown. From there I went to other shows in Chicago. And then we moved, and I moved to Myrtle Beach, and at, in Myrtle Beach um, I taught adult education drawing and was invited to submit some of my work in some of the shows there. I also was in a few shows in North Carolina, and most recently I've been in shows here in, in Texas. Well, it's, it's safe to say I've been doing art ever since I was a child. You know, art's been part of my life and grew up with it and, and I just love it. I love it so much that it's become a release for me from the tensions of the day. And I guess I'll always be an artist. Reporting from WTV, this is Walker Shippey.